Hey guys, today I want to show you a few features in ManyCam 5.0 and this one in particular is Chroma Key and that's for your green screen in your background. Uh, this is actually a pretty cool application so I'm going to run through it real quick with you and show you what it can do. Okay, so I'm going to switch over to uh, my uh, ManyCam application window here. Uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to the bottom here, you're going to want to go to Chroma Key. Very simple, very basic. Uh, now, I won't be able to show you directly from here because I want to show you my actual background. So what I'm going to do is I'm actually going to go, in, uh, go ahead and go back to image and enable picture in picture mode. So I'm actually going to add my camera. I'm going to add my C920. And we'll just increase that size a little bit there for you so you, so you can see what I'm doing. Okay, so then you're going to want to go back to chroma key uh, and then enable it, turn it on. Uh, make sure you have a green screen background or at least a background that will be contrast to what you're wearing so you don't disappear. Uh, it's really simple to use though. This is a really great tool. Okay, so what you're gonna want to do now is make sure you click on this little uh, highlight um, Key it's a filler key and once you've got that selected you can choose your background so you can either use one of their three um, uh, Background or you can use a custom one which I'm gonna use this time. I'm gonna use the roller coaster I downloaded it and then what you're gonna do is you're gonna click on your background with the uh, the filler so you're going to click on it, start each corner, just kind of work your way across. Uh, if you have limited shadowing on your uh, background, on your green screen, this will be a lot easier for you. Right now I have a lot of shadowing. I do need to get a lot of wrinkles out of here. Uh, but once I do that, this will be a lot easier. And if I select a better light sourcing too, because right now I do not have the best lighting. But as you can see here, I'm going to switch back to my main camera now. Uh, so I'm going to show you how it works. As you can see, I am now slowly getting rid of all of the excess green color in the background like I said this would be a lot easier if you uh, if you got rid of all the wrinkles and everything out of there but this is just one example uh, so you can just click keep clicking on it uh, this picture might not be the best example just because there is a lot of color in the background on there as well so let's go with something that they they given you as a regular background so here's one option as you can see so you're just going to kind of go through it and select as much of the color as you can to get rid of it. It's really easy. Make sure you click everywhere on the screen. Just try not to click on yourself because that will just eliminate your skin tone, uh, which does not work, and then you'll just be a blur in a background image. So as you can see here, I've gotten rid of most of it. Uh, and now on the bottom right, or on the bottom side, I should say, we'll switch back to here. Uh, I don't know if you can see this or not, um, but what I'm going to do is just going to I'm just going to go ahead and go back to image and I'm going to move this up here. And then if you go down to image, you can see all the uh, options, options in the chroma here. You have these three colors, you have these three selectors. Uh, now what these do is enable you to uh, kind of eliminate some of the, uh, the color contrast. Let's say if you want your grays to be eliminated a little bit more so you can actually help uh, fix, get rid of some of the uh, as you can see, there's some of my desk in the bottom left-hand corner there. But if I go like this, it does start to help eliminate that a little bit more. So I'm going to switch back to my main camera now. And I'm going to kind of highlight a bit more just to get rid of it. And it does help a little bit. You do have to adjust some of the settings. You can adjust the blur ratio too. Uh, that'll help decrease it a little bit. You do want to kind of just keep it up a little bit. Uh, but if you do that, it'll definitely make your quality, your picture quality, uh, quite a bit better. So we're going to switch to another custom background here. We'll go with this one here, which is the haunted house that I downloaded. I thought it looked really, really cool. Uh, anyway, this this feature is really great for streaming or any uh, videos you decide to do. If you want uh, gameplay in the background, you can do that. I think it looks really, really neat. Uh, but definitely, I recommend if you're going to have a green screen, try to get as many wrinkles out and as much, get rid of as much of the shadow as you possibly can. But this does look really cool. And excuse the legginess, it's really leggy right now. I'm not too sure exactly why. Uh, those are definitely things you got to work out. But it looks really, really cool and is a really neat tool to have. Uh, so I definitely recommend it. Uh, like I said, you can just uh, kind of customize it, make it as smooth as you want, depending on uh, what material you're using behind you. Uh, a lot of people use uh, actually just paint their walls green, and it makes it a little bit easier too just to eliminate any of the extra shadow just because there are a lot of different colors as you can see uh, with that background you can see a lot of the folds in the, in the shades and everything like that uh, but it's really cool and the reason they recommend not wearing green is because this will happen uh, that's my hand uh, and I put this green uh, you can kind of see it if I turn it a certain way uh, like that um, but basically what that does is anything that's the same kind of green uh, will basically 
put that background image onto onto what you uh, you have on. So I definitely don't recommend wearing green if you're going to be doing this, or at least have a different background image, uh, different background color if you are going to do that. So uh, that's pretty cool. Looks like you have a giant hole in the desk there. It's pretty neat. Anyway, guys, thanks for watching. Uh, leave me a like, uh, comment, and subscribe. Thanks.